Okay, hello everyone, welcome back to the Web3 channel. My name is Zach. In this video, we're looking at some price analysis because, of course, we are definitely in a difficult and interesting, let's say, more so time in the crypto market, especially with a lot of bear happening, bear price action. Either way, let's go into the price analysis with Bitcoin, Ethereum, and so on. Bitcoin and most altcoins have fallen to a key support levels, but the current trading setup suggests traders lack the confidence to chase after an oversold bounce. And of course, we can see Solana, Doge, etc. in this image. Let's go through it. Bitcoin and most major altcoins are struggling to find a bottom, indicating that traders are dumping their positions out of fear. The big question on everyone's mind is whether the selling is over or could the decline continue? UTXO management senior analyst at Learn Leclerc highlighted the, the network cost basis. The average price at which Bitcoin was last moved by various investors is $24,000 US. And historically, the ratio of cost basis to price has bottomed out below 1.0. If history were to repeat itself, Bitcoin may have to fall some more to make it an attractive buy, according to the metric. And if we go further on, long-term investors don't seem to be perturbed by the recent correction in Bitcoin. Glass no data suggests that investors continue to withdraw their coins to cold storage. Bitcoin, a liquid supply, is going up relentlessly. Lex Moskovsky, chief investor officer of Moskovsky Capital, Bitcoin and other major altcoins are nearing strong support levels. Could investors use the opportunity to buy or will the bears prevail? Let's study the charts of the top 10 cryptos to find out. So we're starting off with Bitcoin USDT. And before we really start in, of course, nothing on this channel is ever to be considered financial advice and you should always do your own research. Bitcoin has been trading below the 59.6 thousand US dollar to 37.33k USD zone for the past two days. The buyers attempts to relief to attempted a rally, a relief rally, apologies, on January 23rd, but not but could not even challenge the overhead resistance at 37.332.7k. This indicates weak demand at higher levels. Let's go forward. The selling renewed on January 24 and the bears pulled the BTC USDT pair below the Jan 2022 intraday low at 34k. The next support on the downside is the critical zone between of course 30k and 28.8k USD. The oversold level on the relative strength index suggests that the spelling selling may be overdone in the short term. This could attract buying from traders near the support zone. If the price rebounds off the zone, the bulls will try to push the pair above 39 point six K USD. A break and close above the 20 day exponential moving average 40.8k USD will be the first indication that the bears, bears may be losing their grip. A trend change may be signaled after the price rises and sustains above the 50-day simple moving average. Then let's have a look at Ethereum USDT. Ethereum plummeted and closed between below sorry the descending channel on January 21st indicating an increase in selling pressure the bulls tried to push the price back into the channel on January 23rd but of course they failed this renewed the selling pressure on January 24 and bears have pulled the price below the January 22 intraday low at 2.3k the ETH USDT pair could now decline to the psychological level at 2000 where the buyers may provide support if the price rebounds off at this level, the bulls will again try to push the price back into the channel. If they secure, so you succeed, the, uh, the pair could rise to the breakdown level at 6.26k uh, USD. Conversely, if the price below $2,000, the pair could slide to the next major support at 1.7k. Then going over onto Binance Coin, it plummeted below the support line of the descending channel at January 21st and following selling on January 2nd, 22nd, the, the next day, pulled the price towards the stronger support zone at $330 to 320 USD. The buyers attempted a relief rally on January 23rd, but the bears did not allow the price to re-enter into the channel. This indicates that bears are defending the support line of the channel. The selling resumed on January 24th and the bears will try to sink the price below the support zone. If the price sustains below 322 320 USD, the BNB USDT pair could slide to 254 50 cents USD and then to the next support at 225.40. The first sign of strengthen will be a break and close inside the channel. The pair could then attempt to a rally to the 20 day EMA. Moving forward, of course, then we have Cardano breaking down below the strong support at $1 on January 22. But the long tail on the candlestick shows, of course, that bulls purchased the dip and defended the level successfully, right? 
going forward. However, a minor negative is that the balance of $1 could not even reach the 20-day EMA. This suggests that beers are, of course, pouncing on minor relief values and not waiting for higher set levels to sell. The beers, again, pulled the price below $1 on January 24. If they sustain the Cardano pair below this level, that selling momentum could pick up. The pair could then decline to $0.80 cents and later to the support line on the channel. Then we're looking at Solana. Nose diving below the $1. $16 support on January 21st and the price reached the support line of the descending channel on January 22nd although bulls defended this level they could not push the price to the breakdown level at $116 this indicates that buying dries up at higher levels looking at the support line and resistance line of the descending channel right the beers resumed the selling on January 24 and are attempting to sink the Solana USDT pair below the support line on the channel. If they succeed, the selling could pick up momentum and the pair may drop to $66 and later to $58. The incessant selling of the past few days has pushed the RSI below 22. This indicates that selling may have been overdone in the short term and a relief rally is possible. The first level to watch on the upside is $116 and then the 20-day EMA, $131. Then we have Ripple breaking down the December 4th intraday low at 60 cents on January 22. There was an attempt by the bulls to start a relief rally on January 23rd, but it did not find takers at high levels. And then, of course, the selling resumed on January 24, and the bears are trying to pull the price to the psychological level at 50 cents US dollars. This is an important support for the bulls to defend because if it cracks, the XRP USDT pair could slide to 39 cents USD. Contrary to this assumption, if the price rebounds to the 50 cent support, the bulls will attempt to push the pair to the 20 day even moving average. A break and close above this resistance could signal that the selling pressure may be reducing. Before we go into Luna, I'll need to drink some water. Been speaking for a straight seven minutes here. Luna. Terra's Luna token rebounded off the support line of the descending channel on January 22, but the recovery hit a wall at $70.22 on January 23rd. This suggests that bears have not given up and are actively selling at higher levels. The moving averages have completed a bearish crossover and the RSI is in the negative territory, indicating that bears have the upper hand. The sellers will now try to pull the price to the support line if the price rebounds off this line once again the possibility of a move back to the downtrend line increases alternatively if bears sink and sustain the price below the channel the selling could intensify and the pair may plummet to $37.82 and then I'm assuming uh, is this penultimately no it's not penultimately doge usdt doge plummeted below the strong support at 13 cents on january 22 but the long tail on this candlestick shows buying at lower levels the buyers attempted to start a recovery on january 23rd but higher levels attracted selling the price turned down on january 24 and the but and the bears are attempting to pull and sustain the doge usdt pair below the 13 cent support if they succeed the pair could start its slide towards the psychological level at 10 cents contrary to this assumption if the price turns up from the current level the bulls will again try to push the pair to the 20 dollar even moving average a break and close above the 50 day uh, sma could keep the 13 cents to 19 cents range into play and then it may well have actually been no okay so i think avax is the last one then yes i believe avax is the last one okay so going to polka dot which we have actually spoken about today already but either way plummeted below the critical support at 22 dollars 66 cents on january 21st and reached the next support on 1681 on the next day although bulls defended this level this they could not extend the relief this indicates a lack of demand at higher levels have we already read this no. The bears resumed their selling on January 24 and are attempting to sustain the dot USDT pair below 1681. If they do that, the pair could extend its decline to the next major support at 1037. The sharp selling of the past few days has pushed the RSI into the oversold territory. This suggests that the selling may have been overdone in the short term and a relief value could be possible. If the price turns up from the current level and rises above 920, 1920, the pair could rally to 2266. And then finally, Avalanche plunged and closed below the $75.50 support on January 24. Completing a bearish descending triangle, triangle pattern, the bulls defended the $51.04 cent, uh, cent support on January 22nd, but could not push and sustain the price above the 200-day SMA. This suggests that bears continue to sell on minor rallies. The bears have resumed their selling as of January 24 and will try to pull the AVAX pair below the strong support zone at $51.04 to $47.66. If they succeed, the pair could plummet to $30.23. 
Conversely, if the prize rebounds off the support zone, it will indicate accumulation at lower levels. The bulls will then attempt to push the pair to the breakdown level at $75.50, which is an important level to watch out for. With that being said, that is me talking for 10 minutes straight, so I am going to end the video there because we have other videos to go over on the channel now with the Web3 channel covering everything happening from crypto, NFT, and metaverse news. This is Zach from Web3. Have a great day, everyone. Not financial advice, and I'll see you in the next Web3 video.